Jealousy, my brothers and sisters, eats away at the good deeds in the same way that fire would consume dry logs. That's the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do away with jealousy. When you see people gaining or achieving or having more than you, be happy for them. Learn to thank Allah for them. Don't look at people with the envious eye filled with jealousy. When we become jealous, it leads to hatred and enmity that can lead to a great disaster. So the Prophet Muhammad instructs us to control those feelings, to be happy at the happiness of another, at the success of another is a great act of worship. Try this, my brothers and sisters, the next time you see a person achieve much more than you, thank Allah for them. You can ask Allah to give you as well, but don't ever ask Allah to take away from them. Don't look at them with the eye of envy and jealousy. Say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, or you can say, Allahumma barik lahu, or Allahumma barik laha, may Allah bless her or him, may Allah bless them with even greater success. Remember, jealousy is one of the roots of discord among community members and among the ummah, and it actually eats away at you. You will not be happy. You will never achieve that contentment because you look at people and you burn within you whenever they achieve. People start passing comments. You know, if someone's done well in business and mashallah, they've bought themselves a new car or they have a happy home, or for example, they've purchased something material, people People start passing cutting comments like sometimes they say, oh, this person's earning haram, this person's got illegitimate wealth or they perhaps dealing in drugs or something crazy. And those statements would actually hurt you on the day of judgment. In fact, they would hurt you in this world as well. So stay away from it. Abstain. My brothers and sisters, if you're happy at the happiness of another and you truly show the gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perhaps congratulate your brother or your sister or pray for them to achieve even more, then you have definitely understood your maker. The reason is Allah Almighty is the one who distributes wealth. He distributes whatever they have. He is the one who gave them. He chose it for them. He decided to give them. If you are not happy with that, you're not happy with the distribution of Allah. So it would basically destroy your relationship with the Almighty. You'd be wasting your good deeds. And thereafter, it would result in you talking bad about them and so many other evil deeds that would definitely eat away at your good deeds in the same way that fire eats away at dry logs. May Allah protect us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.